Okay, so basically we are asked to simplify the trigonometric ratio so that the input angle is positive and acute. Here we can see that the input angle for our sine function is negative 277 degrees. Of course, our aim is to make this angle into a positive and acute angle. Acute meaning less than 90 degrees. Positive meaning greater than zero. So we want a function of sine with an angle inside that's between 0 and 90 degrees. So here's our cast diagram. This does not change at all. The only difference is when we work with negative angles, we are numbering different, um, or we label our axes different. This is negative 90 degrees. That is negative 180 degrees. This is negative 270 degrees. And that is negative 360 degrees angle that we're talking about here is negative 277. So there we go all the way to negative 270. So 77 is just past. It's, it's an angle that's quite close to negative 270. And we see it's in the first quadrant. That is beautiful. The only question that we now have is what is that angle? If this is 277, all the way to there's 277 then I know oh well then this must be 7 degrees because it's 7 smaller than 270 okay which m tells me that this angle must therefore be 83 because this and that angle are complementary angles they add up to 90 degrees so 83 is that angle and I know that sine in the first quadrant is positive so this would give me exactly the same, this would give me exactly the same answer as just saying sine of 83 degrees. Got it? Good.